Welcome back to Woodforge UK. As you can see, I'm kitted up with my bee suit and we're going to be putting a varroa treatment on the bees. So, this colony, as you'll see in a second, let's get the camera there. I've already moved it into uh, its winter arrangement because we're almost in September now. Um, I've took the main harvest off them. They've got one full super and then, of course, the brood box. Um, so, the brood box is at the top. The treatment we're going to use this year is Apigard. I used the new treatment at Amatraz last year. This year we're going to go back to Apigard. I like to vary it a bit because uh, Varroa can develop a resistance. My smoker likes to keep going out at the moment, so I'm just going to keep buffing it. Probably won't need it that much, but we will see. They glue themselves to the top. girls. Wow, all at the top this morning. Check the queen isn't on the underside, just in case. No, she's fine. I'm going to try and shake some of these back in. So it's real easy to put uh, Apigard on, so we just need an eek, which we'll put on the top of the brew box. So that's all fairly square. I'll go open up. So it's just a gel. All I'm going to do is just smear a little bit of it around so the bees take it up and they start uh, spreading that. I think this sort of works like a fumigation and the varroa mites will drop off then. And I'm just going to leave that there in the middle and the bees can access that. Okay, it's simple as that. I've got an inspection tray underneath the hive as well, so any dead varroa that drop out will be able to do a, a count. Um, just want to know the treatment's effective and also it just helps uh, give an idea of how many varroa numbers we had in this colony. This colony's been quite strong this year. 
Um, so I'm assuming varroa, lower, um, varroa numbers have been lower 